so many people eager to catch the eclipse happening on Monday. But before you look up, remember, you need that special eyewear. Our Gordon Takumatsu joining us live from Reseda with some tips from a doctor. Gordon. Well, Jonathan, we spoke with a Long Beach ophthalmologist who gave us a couple of tips about how to keep your eyes safe during the eclipse on Monday. First question, are glasses like these, the ones you wear every day, enough? The answer, absolutely not. You should not be looking at the sun directly with any glasses other than the solar eclipse glasses. Dr. Ravi Mangani, uh, Mangavi, I should say, is uh, talking about the specially designed eclipse glasses you've likely been seeing all over social media. Some retailers are even offering them now. They're extra, extra dark with a filter capacity far exceeding what even your polarized daily sunglasses will have. The doctor says, look for the ISO rating, which should be printed somewhere on the frame. It'll say 12312-2. And be careful about what's being sold online. Some counterfeit glasses have been showing up with which uh, ophthalmologists say will give you a false sense of security. And that could cause you long term vision damage if you're not super careful. He says patients start trickling in a couple of weeks after an eclipse with some pretty serious symptoms. People come in with some swelling or thickening in the retina or we even see um, a little yellow spot in the center of the retina. Dr. Mangani also recommends against taking your eclipse glasses off at any point during the event. Some people on social media are talking about doing just that right as the sun is completely blocked. He says there's really no way to tell when that dangerous light is going to be coming back, so it's best to play it safe, keep your glasses on the entire time, or better yet, just watch the eclipse on TV or on a streaming website like the one that NASA is offering. And one more thing, make sure your glasses don't have any tiny scratches or uh, dings in the lenses because even that small hole could let in enough light to damage your eyes. Reporting live from Reseda, Gordon Tokuatsu, NBC4 News.